Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. In this video, we will learn how to install Docker on Mac and install relational database management systems in different containers such as MS SQL Server, Oracle and PostgreSQL. We will also make our first connections with these databases. Let me briefly explain you what Docker is and why you need it. It is a tool that allows you to automate the deployment of applications in lightweight containers, ensuring that applications run efficiently in different environments while remaining isolated. Every software has its own requirements from the operating system, and some may even require different operating systems than yours. Docker solves this problem by eliminating the need to manually prepare environments for each software. It provides operating system level virtualization making it easier to package and deliver the software you'll need in containers. Additionally, besides installation, removing an application without leaving a trace on your computer is absolutely easy and fast. That is why Docker is preferred. You can install applications quickly and easily and remove them without any hassle. Let's get started by installing Docker first. Go to the official Docker website and download the installer according to your computer's requirements. Double-click the setup file and drag and drop Docker into the Applications folder. Open the Docker application using Launchpad, the Applications folder or Spotlight Search. Accept the agreement. I will use the recommended settings, click finish. Enter your credentials for your computer. Click allow for permission requests. You don't need to sign in to use the application, but I recommend signing in. If you do not sign in, you may encounter errors when you send too many pull requests. Docker Desktop is ready for use. You can click on the Sign In button in the top right corner whenever you need it. If you don't have an account, fill in the registration form or sign in directly with your credential. A container is a standard unit of software that packages up the code and all its dependencies so the applications run quickly and reliably in any computing environment. Docker App Container Image Library offers these containers, allowing you to download and use them. You don't need to Docker App right now. I will provide the exact commands to install databases in the description box. Go ahead and open the terminal using the terminal button in the bottom right corner. Click Enable. Copy the command provided in the description box for MS SQL Server. You can name your container as you wish, change the system admin password, and modify the port according to your needs. I recommend you to set an SA password and make sure you remember it. Press Enter. This command will download and start the MS SQL Server container for you. It is now ready to use. Let's go ahead and make our first connection. Open Azure Data Studio to connect to the database on the MS SQL Server we just installed on Docker. If you haven't installed Azure Data Studio on your computer yet, Check out the related video linked in the description box below. That video provides more details about making the first connection as well. Enter localhost or 
in the server field to connect to the MSQL server installed on your computer. The username is SA and the password is the one you provided earlier while installing MSQL server on Docker. The connection is successful. Now let's stop the Docker container and see what happens. Go back to Azure Data Studio and you will see a connection error. Restart the container and you will be able to reconnect successfully in Azure Data Studio. You can also connect to the MSQL server using dBeaver. If you want to see how to install dBeaver and make a connection in detail, check out the video linked in the description below. The connection is successful. Now let's install PostgreSQL on Docker. Use the provided command in the description. You can name your container as you wish, change the system admin password, and modify the port according to your needs. Press Enter. PostgreSQL is now ready to use. Go to dBeaver and test the connection. Select PostgreSQL from the list, fill out the form as before, and click Test Connection. dBeaver will automatically install the required drivers if you don't already have them. The connection is successful. Then click Finish. Let's check what happens if the container is not running. Stop the container and try reconnecting. You will see a connection error. Start the container again to restore the successful connection. Now let's install Oracle on Docker. The path we follow here is slightly different than others. First, you need to register on the Oracle Container Registry. Click Sign In if you already have an account or create a new one. Go to the Docker desktop and enter the provided command to log in to Oracle Container Registry. Provide your username and password. Login is successful. Then use the provided command to pull the Oracle container image. The version is explicitly specified here, but you can pull the latest version using the command provided in the description box. Finally, run the provided command to start the Oracle container. You can set the container name, password, and port according to your requirements.
The container is now ready to use. To connect, open dBeaver and select Oracle. Fill out the connection form. The default service information is provided in the description box below. The connection is successful. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like the video and subscribe to our channel for more content.